Okay. Talk about a little bit what makes what you... makes our music unique. Number one, great songs. <laughs> Saw the girl from last December She said, boy, can you still remember All those words that you would say Now I let you have your way What can people expect to, when they see Sweet Tea Project live? When you come to see Sweet Tea Live, the first thing that you will notice is full frontal nudity. Yeah! <laughs> it's a joke. Um, it's based on songs. That's what I've always been about with Collective Soul, and it's what it's about with Sweet Tea. And that's the beautiful thing about Sweet Tea. There, there are five lead singers, there are five songwriters, and um, I mean, even today I had this idea and they just help with like, as I do, as I try to anyway, just, just to make the song the best song it can be. It's not about getting songwriting credit, it's about making that song the best song it can be. So it's all based on song. My name's Ed Rowland and I'm part of the Ed Rowland and the Sweet Tea Project, which consists of Ed Rowland and uh, Brian Bisky on bass. Grant Reynolds on the guitar, Christopher Yates on banjo and trumpet, and Mike Rizzi on drums. Sometimes a night ain't a friend of mine. The morning breaks and the sun will shine. Cause I'm never coming back, I'm never coming back. Your memories of you, yeah, they linger on. But I just wanna get moving on Cause I'm never coming back I'm never coming back Did you get that? And I said I loved you I swore that I loved you That's a long time ago I proved I loved you, you know that I loved you, but that's a long time ago, such a long time ago. That could have been the one right there. This band started organically, it truly did. It, it started in my basement. I had a couple of weeks off from Collective Soul, which is a band I play in, and they congregated to my home after uh, about midnight to one o'clock in the morning to four, and I would show them ideas I had that I would necessarily show to Collective Soul. And they showed me ideas, and we just started hitting it off. It was just fun. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Let's, I mean, right. we can just let's learn it all. Right. Okay. Okay. You don't mind. Uh, yeah. So we have a second. I need to bow down. 
When I first met these guys, they would, they would be in the basement and they would just start singing harmonies. I can play a melody and they immediately go to like harmonies that I'm like, oh my God. Please welcome Ed Roland to the Sweet Tea Project. <laughs> these guys would sit with an acoustic guitar and just sing a song and I'm like, I've never heard that song in that form before. Just as I am. And this this isn't because it's they came together yesterday. They've been doing this for like ten years together, and it, it's almost like they've been practicing for this moment. <laughs> Christopher Allen Yates. Oh God, I've known him too long. There's too many thoughts to go with Christopher. Breaker 1 9 You got your heels on. What's the word when you think a lot? Like he's very in depth. Jebediah. My name's Jebediah. I'm from Wilton, Kentucky. I play football for Kentucky Wildcats. Uh, analytical? Analytical. Yeah, thank you. Lights. Is this Stay brown good color for me? I know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> to my. Immediate right, Mr. Christopher Allen Yates. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I'll speak for the rest of the band up here. It's quite an honor to be up here with this guy. Y'all give it up for Ed Rowland, please. Well, I'm just going to talk about my relationship with Ed a little bit. I met Ed when I was probably 15 or 16 years old down at Real to Real Studios in Stockbridge. And, you know, I, I think I can say that I feel like um, from the day I met Ed, I felt like I knew he was going to be a big success. I think I can say that. Brian Bisky. Sweet and leaf eater. What's the quirkiest thing about Bisky? <laughs> uh, my name is Brian Bisky and I play bass with the Sweet Tea Project. That's not the name of the band. It's called Ed Roland and the Sweet Tea Project. I'm gonna work that back in. <laughs> Tea uh, does come from a lot of different places, and everybody has their own voice. Um, and it, uh, I think, it's a really big part of what can maybe separate this band from some other bands is uh, just that we have that ability to switch gears, have somebody else take uh, spotlight for a moment, switch back. And, and Ed is obviously the front man, um, and he is—he's a good one. Musically, I haven't yet figured him out yet. He's, he's pretty amazing. I mean, just the way that he writes songs, the way that they come out so effortlessly. and It's, it's a sight to behold. I'm uh, very grateful to be involved with, uh, with him in any kind of songwriting capacity. Um, and personally, yeah, I mean, what, what's not to like? He's fun. I met uh, Rizzy, he was uh, in a band that was opening for Willie Nelson. Myself. Well, now to introduce yourselves one by one, just so everybody knows your name. Whoop, 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 whoop. Stage right all the way up. Yeah. Uh, Mike Rizzy. And what do you do? I'm the percussionist. <laughs> <laughs> and he played in a band 5-8 that was very important to me growing up in the Atlanta area. Mike Rizzy. Well, you know, Rizzy loves to make people laugh. You talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, part of his personal role in this band is bringing levity. Yeah. Humor. 
Ed Roland and the Sweet Tea Project to me are like being in a band with the Super Friends. And as far as drumming, just hard hitting, believes in every beat he hits. It's a band, it's a whole. You know, Ed's, Ed's got a lot of clout and we don't and he shares it perfectly with us and that's pretty badass of him to do so. All right, I can see. I got an idea, right, watch this. Grant Reynolds. Nerd. Grant is super technical. Yeah, I have a nickname in the band. They call me the nerd. Why do you think that is? Because I'm smart. <laughs> He's a nerd, but like in a good way. Like, he's the sweetest nerd you would ever know. I'm Grant Reynolds. I play uh, guitar, lap steel, pedal steel, and mandolin. that fluidly on a guitar neck just because you've, you're a technical person. He is a gifted guitar player. Without music, I would be completely lost. The first CD came about, like I said, we were, had, I think I had three weeks off from Collective Soul, so it was just friends coming in and out. Like, I honestly, I think there were nine guitar players on the first record. Yeah, the band has certainly gone through some, uh, some members, some changes. We've been kind of growing and changing for the past year or so. And I think what we've landed on here is, it just, it clicks, it makes sense. My Been great it's every every time we go out we get you know we get tighter and tighter as a band and tighter as a group of guys too i still think live music is the most important part of music in general <laughs> When you play and, and there's an audience and you feed off of that, I've tried to explain it to people, but I think it's like taking a picture of the Grand Canyon and going, hey, check this out. Not only do you want to write it, but you want to feel the energy of the audience. And that's what live music's about.
the idea of the Sweet Tea Project a long time ago. I always wanted to call it that, and then my mom and her infusion calls us the Sweet Tea Party. But I'm like, Mom, Project. My name's Garth Brooks, and I got friends in low places. You son of a bitch. Everybody has a slightly different voice, so. Just say the last part again. Yeah, there's a lot of. Uh, go, you, you, go ahead. Say hi. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. I mean, anytime. Don't sweat the petty stuff and don't pet the sweaty stuff. Sometimes you can't avoid petting sweaty stuff. Like Rizzy. He comes off stage, he wants to give you a hug. <laughs> yeah, yeah, people have been calling us brothers this whole tour. We got the caveman look going. We got the full beard and the full whatever that is up there. Peace. I mean, we're so popular between the both of us, we have a loyal fan base of 17. Thank yeah. God the club is only fitting 25. I mean, we're really bringing the lion's share of people. <laughs> what would they do without us? Without music, I wouldn't be.